ericmwadithmother.com. Let's take a look at this classic and perfect example for an explosive stock. Now, the stock has had a massive run over the last, let's call it, year or so, moving from about, let's even say, take the breakout here in the mid to lower 20s to the current highs here of about just under 95 a big run-up in price now it's a classic example for what we look for now number one the one thing I wanted to point out here is it's also a good example for why we wait for one month of rest now this is all data monthly and you can see that we had one month of rest here one down month and then you come back and clear the previous monthly closing high so that becomes your breakout level. The previous monthly closing high becomes a buy point. Once the stock clears that level, you can see that it goes on a nice run. Doesn't close below that on a monthly basis. It records a new high and settles down for another month. Down. So now the closing, the monthly closing high here becomes the next buy point. Once it clears that, you can see it never looks back we have another example of one month rest which is a down month we take the monthly closing high right there once it breaks out after one month of rest that's another entry we can also see another one down month which is the minimum requirement for a breakout on the monthly time frame we come back and clear that monthly closing high for another breakout entry so the stock has had multiple rest periods, each one of them followed by a successful monthly breakout. Keep in mind on the monthly chart, we only need one down month. So again, you take the monthly closing high there. Once the stock breaks out above that, monthly closing high, that's your entry price. You take the monthly closing high there. After one month of rest minimum, the next move above that previous monthly closing high is an entry you take this monthly closing high after one month of rest you use that monthly closing high as your entry level which is now this breakout here and again it settles down here at about $70 has one down month once it comes back and clears the $70 price range that's another entry now one thing I should also add here is that during the initial breakout so we're talking about the initial breakout here. We can take this breakout right there. This period corresponds nicely with the stock where it meets the minimum requirement because the RSI is jumping to all time highs. It is also moving above 61.8. About 61.8, it clears the 61.8 level for the first time during this breakout after this monthly closing high we get one down month and that breakout here at the beginning of 2017 corresponds again with the RSI moving to all-time highs we can also see it corresponds with the main MACD breaking out to all-time highs we can also see that the secondary MACD was also moving to all-time highs so it met the minimum requirement check the description for this method which I call the ultimate more the breakout but the main purpose for this video is to show you that whenever you're following a stock and trying to time a momentum stock on a monthly chart all you need is one down month after one down month any subsequent clearance of the previous monthly closing high becomes your entry price so on a monthly closing basis you need one down month Check the description because on the weekly, it's a little bit different. We need two weeks of rest before a legitimate breakout. On the daily, we need at least two days of rest. And on the hourly, at least two hours of rest before the continuation of a move high. Again, check the description of the video for, for a link and may, maybe multiple links expanding this concept of rest period. You need the stocks at your timing to take some break before they can continue on on their momentum journey. Eric Moade, the mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.